explain this project, how you got started, how it was created? Well, for our robotics project, we had to come up with this solution for seniors. And we looked at seniors and why they fall. And a lot of seniors with walkers fall when their hips aren't properly aligned with the walker. So we created a device that will alarm every time your hips are in prophecy. It's essentially a larger version of what happens in Acadia. So uh, they will still have to present their research on their project on the walker. They'll still have to do robot runs, which they've had to program the robot. And they will still have to show how they can work together as a team. And, and the word from the first Lego League is cooperation. So still being competitive, but working and sharing with others, which is what the summit's all about as well, sharing our innovation and, and sharing with others. So how do we move Nova Scotia forward? So NSCC and Acadia have been very, very key in developing that because at the regional level, NSCC, the partnership with Acadia moving forward. So without that, they would not be going to St. Louis. So we're very appreciative of that. patent databases as well as sort of research um, databases as well to make sure um, this doesn't already exist. That's one of the criteria for their project. Uh, they haven't found it. It's, it's effectively a proximity detector, but it's never been used in this situation. Um, what they were focusing on was giving the independence back to the seniors, which is one of the criteria for their project as well, um, to allow the senior to control their own health care um, and not being told what to do. And it's also their sensor for them is able for the seniors to be able to bring um, it to their home, use it in their own environment, and then it be evaluated. And that was key um, for the independence of the seniors, for sure. And that was Innovation doesn't happen by accident. In fact, it is putting in place the right conditions. Um, it is about connecting uh, academics, entrepreneurs. Uh, it's about uh, building a culture of innovation at a very, very early, uh, a very early age. Uh, it is the process by which you get uh, from papers to patents to products, and it's about the commercialization and, and mining of basic research. And what better place in the world? For that? Uh, me and my brother, we we made um, a Lego jewelry as a business, and we decided to fundraise by um, uh, creating jewelry and using the money. What's that? I said it looks like a hat. Yeah, yeah. It's just me. Well, the funny thing about it is, if you want, right. say you, you can take it apart. Just, well, you can take it off, and you can put a red one on top of you, and have a wear wearing it or something else, or a different color. Oh, you color. mean you've got accessories? You could, you, with, you, could, you, you could. No, it doesn't come with, oh, but you could. You could. You're yeah. having the opportunity to take something I've worked very hard on take it to a world festival, especially in St. Louis, some places I understand that none of you have ever been. Uh, this would be the highlight uh, certainly of your life at, that, at this point. I, I just uh, think that this is a great uh, starting point and I'm sure we'll be seeing many other things uh, from these uh, young women in the years to come. Great experience for all of us because we've never been there and we like to travel the world and we also want to have a great time while we're there and enjoy when we're there. Um, I, I guess as a team we just want to uh, say that this was an amazing opportunity and um, the, the three of them, this is our, their last year participating in the FLL program, um, but maybe they'll go into the uh, high school, um, but I have one more year left, but I'm not sure that I'm going to do that with my teammates.